officers of the university, our HODs, deans of various faculties, participants of the workshop. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. First of all, during our review, various review meetings regarding NIRF and NAC, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, once she took over, she immediately, you know, called us to give, a, give her a review of various, you know, uh, issues confronting our university. One of them was our rankings, especially our NIRF and NAC. So when we take, took a stock of, uh, stock of uh, the issues pertaining to NIRF and NAC, Honorable Vice Chancellor pointed out many lacunae. Among them was the way we are handling our, you know, entrepreneurship and innovations. So it was on her directions that uh, our, our the director, Professor Manzur Saab, along with his team, you know, we gave it a thought and at the very outset we thought okay, it is good perhaps to call up a workshop like this so that people can deliberate, people can think around and maybe we have some out-of-box solutions for a very important issue confronting all of us. Earlier also, when we were not faring that nicely in impact factor, it was Directorate of DECA, way back seven years, when we have a very important workshop regarding how to improve the impact factor both individual level and at the university level. And Alhamdulillah that worked. And our impact factories at this time far higher than many of the Indian universities, especially in this region we are topping. Deans of various faculties, heads of departments, directors, colleagues from various line departments, relevant quarters actually in the university and outside, uh, some research scholars and my team members. Uh, it's a pleasure, profound pleasure uh, for me to welcome you to this very important workshop, which is important from a larger context. Because if we look around, I think our society needs innovations uh, more than ever before in terms of the challenges that we are facing. Because every challenge that we face around demands an innovative sort of uh, thinking and innovative solution. And when we think about that, university is the place where society actually you know, looks forward uh, to basically have those innovative uh, solutions for these things. Uh, and then uh, I believe this innovation is the key in the hands of the entrepreneurs uh, that way. And these two things are very uh, intricately linked, uh, the innovations and the entrepreneurship. And we have had in the university certain initiatives over the period of time. Uh, under RUSA we have a special funding for innovations and there is a center for innovations uh, at incubations uh, established at the Zakura campus. We have other departments here, uh, say Department of Food Technology, Department of Management Studies, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Biotechnology, Bioresources, other departments who are into this uh, uh, business. But the fact of the matter is if we look at our performance uh, over the period of time, uh, we used to do good research earlier on also, but unfortunately we would publish it not in good places. And then there was an initiative taken at the university that we need to publish our research in the good quality journals. And over the period of time, it has really worked. And I think it, by now, as Ashokut Sahib said, we, have, we are uh, good in terms of the publications part. But the fact of the matter is when we look at the innovations and the patents especially, I mean, we must admit that we are not uh, faring well. Reason is probably we are not conscious of patents as we are of publications. As researchers, we work and we say that let's publish. And over the period of time, uh, after uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor took over actually, uh, there has been a series of meetings at different levels and we are seriously thinking about it just to give it a kind of serious uh, direction so that we now take this university on the path of innovations and entrepreneurship and in due course of time, the way we made a mark in publications, we made a better mark in terms of uh, patents and I'm sure that all the heads who are here, I mean, uh, if, if we put our efforts together, I'm pretty sure that uh, a 
fructification of this workshop in very near in future uh, we'll be uh, able to see what prompted us to do this type of workshop uh, probably in earlier we had a exit option in the nac uh, for certain parameters and uh, patent was one among them we used it to uh, exit from that area and uh, there was no deduction of any type of score on that count probably it has been now done away by the NAC and we have to definitely fill this parameter also and we should figure somewhere in this also University of Kashmir as we all know that uh, we uh, all the funding whatever is being done by the funding agencies there are definite now by ministry by dst by dbt there are clear directions now that there should be certain deliverables there should be certain tangible results uh, hopefully that will come under the research but under the innovation also kashmir university has got good funding similarly we have a good funding at rusa also what manzoor sir was already talking about we had a 15 crore funding in entrepreneur and innovation and half of it has already been released. We have given some 4 crores plus to the IoT and uh, uh, then to the other centers which we have already given. But we expect that whatever innovation on count of innovation, whatever is being done by the teachers, if there is anything which can result in certain good patents or, or, or the patents, not good patents because patent is patent. So we will be happy to I will request Honorable Vice Chancellor also uh, that uh, we will be happy to provide such type of funding in any end, any 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 such type of endeavors. Rest, we all know that we should now work hard because we have a accreditation now in 24, which is almost now coming close. And whatever will be from our side, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor has already given us directions to facilitate any sort of. Uh, activity which will benefit go a long way to benefit the students, teachers, scholars, and the university as a whole. We will be happy to uh, extend any type of support to the any any department, any faculty member. Thank you all. Uh, really, a great beginning or a good start uh, to have this type of uh, workshop, uh, which our director Dika and his team. Uh, have organized. Uh, I'm sure that this is a very important workshop. For example, if we have research papers, uh, good research papers that have been published, uh, we need to, uh, you know, uh, put an idea of innovation into it, uh, which ultimately can result in a patent. Uh, believe me, University of Kashmir is doing very well in other parameters. We have good accreditation from NAC. For everything, just two or three gray areas. One of them main concern is this entrepreneurship and innovations. Uh, I think it's a high time now uh, because in 24 we have another accreditation. We need results now. And for that, uh, you know, we have approached the C camp so that they can train our researchers, they can train our faculty and they can tell us how to proceed. And as Dr. Nisar said, if anywhere we have to spend, if anywhere we have to fund, we'll definitely do it because uh, we have to uh, address to this great area immediately. And uh, I'm sure uh, Professor Manzoor and his team uh, will organize such workshops in future also and, uh, you know, closely monitor this uh, entrepreneurship and innovation unit. Uh, from uh, you know our director iot uh, has already uh, a innovation center uh, in uh, his campus um, which is doing well but we again need to focus more on it which they are already doing and i'm sure this workshop will further help them and definitely we'll have good results i will also uh, request our Dean Engineering, Professor Andrabi, our Dean Applied Sciences, Professor Nahida Tabassum, uh, you know, uh, to see where uh, we have to put in our more efforts uh, to have the results. We'll definitely do it with these words. Uh, thank you very much.